A true American pioneer died today of cancer. Sally Ride, the first American woman to fly in space, it was nearly 30 years ago. There was towering pressure on her to perform every maneuver perfectly, and she did, proving that women were also born with the right stuff. Here's ABC's Lindsay Davis. When Sally Ride blasted off into space back in 1983, lift off of STS-7 and America's first woman astronaut. She not only boldly went where no other American woman had gone before, at 31, she also became the youngest American ever in space. I guess that I was maybe more excited about uh, getting a chance to fly early than I was about getting to be the first woman. The stars all seemed to be aligned. Ride was a PhD physics student at Stanford when she saw a help wanted ad in the college newspaper, an ad that would change her trajectory. It said NASA was looking for scientists to work on a new project. It also happened to be the same year NASA started accepting women into its astronaut training program. Of 8,000 applicants, 35 were chosen, six were women. And Ride was the one tapped to go to space on the space shuttle Challenger, prompting a flood of media coverage. It's a real experience and uh, the experience of a lifetime to be able to, to fly in space and fly aboard the space shuttle. And I have to admit that I'm more excited about that opportunity than I am about being the, you know, as you say, a footnote in history. Sally Ride ultimately took the trip twice on the Challenger in back-to-back -back years. Her third flight was canceled after the disaster in 1986, but she went on to inspire young women to consider careers in science. Her example alone encouraged women everywhere to shoot for the moon. Lindsay Davis, ABC News, New York. She was 61, and this is what her official NASA biography says of the first flight. In an instant, little girls learned that even the sky wasn't the limit.